closer. Closer. Good morning, everybody. Um, we are now coming live from uh, the beautiful southeast part of uh, the Geneva state of Lake. Wisconsin. Yeah, Geneva Lake. And here in my forehead, you'll notice that I was playing aggressively with my grandson on Sunday. <laughs> And he hit me square in the head. So today we're going to be bringing you on Brew Hub. Yes. Uh, but whoa, wait a minute. Ado is already on. And if we could bring him in, that'd be awesome because this is the problem with bringing him in is. Look at I have this. the magic finger. Well, Otto, magic it, finger. <laughs> the, the contractions are 30 seconds apart. And uh, we are. We just got done talking to Otto. He is such a great guy. Yesterday we tried to do this, and technology was not our friend. Um, That's because I wasn't here. We just heard that. <laughs> we just had a conference call with Otto, and he strongly suggested that all men on this program have been driven over by the bus, headed by, sitting to my left, the beautiful Kira Peterson. To my right is Randy Weckerly. That's the beautiful Randy Weckerly sitting no. And beautiful doesn't work for a guy. You no, have to be handsome. I, I try to be beautiful handsome. Beautiful is just, yeah. I know. It's, it's a tough <laughs> thing. But as soon as the uh, technology of Facebook and our internet and his internet work and coalesce, it says that it is adding uh, yes. James here. But sometimes it just takes the internet a little bit of time to catch up, depending on his connection, depending on our connection. And we're just definitely not connected. However, we did have today good news is our writer uh, interviewing and at the news conference down at uh, hmm. uh, James, I think, hung up, and he's going to try again. Uh, Bring we'll, him back up. We'll okay, really anyways. No, I think he... He got off line. He got off. He can try again. <clears throat> he comes back. Yeah, leave another thought bubble, James, because <clears throat> you did it right. It could just be that the connection isn't working. And uh, we'll try again. But um, hey, anyway, down at uh, the FedEx Cup, Yes. They had the news conference down there today. Yep. Tiger's interview was this morning. That was good. And James, if you could leave. Otto. I said? Otto. Otto. His name is James. There we go. I know, but we'll he goes again. by Otto. I know it does. You're at, you're asking a lot of me early in the morning. <laughs> well, anyways, what was. So anyway, I've been sitting there listening to it. Hey. Oh. Oh. Stand back. Hey. <laughs> that it? Too much. Now, why are we not having. Can you any, hear me? Uh, what's. I don't know. Now we have no sound. Whoa. <laughs> Earthquake. Why do we have no sound in this environment? I don't know. Hold on just a minute, Otto. We were so excited. And Why um, is... can you hear us? You can shake your head. Okay. And of course, we cannot hear you through this phone. You know, you have an idea with that? I have no idea. Let's so see. guess what, Otto? We're gonna start this and use another phone because we can do it. We can see your handsome face. <laughs> I'll take on your. I'll just be you for a while. You know. <laughs> we'll call you right back. We're gonna have to start this over again. We're gonna delete this because we cannot hear you for some reason in this. It's probably our phone connection we have here. So let me. We'll start again. You did good. Do the same thing. Okay. We're gonna delete this. Start over. Sure. Oh, wait a minute. I... Just heard him. You heard me. Sec. You use the wrong Y cord. No. It, no. No. It's all right. Hold on just a minute. I don't. I delete. Gonna play with technology for Let's see. Hold on, stick gears in and see if you can hear it directly with that. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can, can hear you. Hear you. <laughs> hey, look at that. We're gonna do right. Right. Give me an Okay, Give here, me I'm giving you an earbud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, technology. <laughs> right? <laughs> there we go. We solved Finally. it. Finally. Yeah. We get it. Yeah, we treat this as if we're on a mission to the moon. You know, <laughs> Apollo 13 will get through. We're going to adjust your – we can't adjust your camera, but we can adjust ours. Oh, and, yeah, I'm uh, trying to get – There you go. To where it's – whatever. I mean, you're yeah. looking at your nose. Yeah, fine. I'm going to get a little work done here. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Exactly. Gravity, uh. gravity works. Anyway, uh, <laughs> thank you very much for this nice uh, interview, and we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Anyway, we have on here uh, James Otto. Is it? I got to read this real close because everybody calls you Otto, and so I've been just re referring to that. Is that yeah, okay? You can call me Otto. And his James email is. Otto Lini. If you need to call the cops and report me to the authorities, it's no. James Ottolini. No, uh, but otherwise, just call me Otto. No, yeah. I am not trying to be any. A judgeship is not in my future. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, I'm not part of the law enforcement no. community. <laughs> right. Anyway, oh, good. <laughs> yeah, we're happy to have you on because what a great story. It's such a such a cool, cool business you got into. And uh, basically, uh, uh, you are down in St. Louis, correct? I am. Yes. Right now, I'm in St. Louis. Uh, we have a facility here in St. Louis, also one in Florida. Yeah, fast expanding. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just ask you the leading question. How and when did you begin the Brew Hub experience? Because just the overview is, is that if people want to get into the business, the first uh, number they should call is you. Is that correct? Well, I mean, I'm a little biased uh, to answer that question. <laughs> so I, would, I would certainly agree yeah, well, there with you go. that. Yeah. But um, absolutely, I, you know, and then again, uh, we may not be the right company for everybody. Oh, right? that's true. If you were just saying, um, you know, hey, uh, I don't know, I made, I cornered corn. Uh, does anyone ever corner any market anymore? But, uh, you know, you made a bunch of money and you always dreamed of having your own beer brand. I'm not saying we wouldn't work with you, but really kind of our niche in this industry is we take uh, a craft brewer who is growing mm -hmm. um, and we help them grow. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where craft brewers go to grow is our tagline. It fits nicely on a business card, a poster, et cetera. It's a good, you know, intro, but uh, like any growth period, it's always easier said than done. So, uh, you know, we, we help them grow, not just in terms of volume, but in terms of process maturity, in terms of the quality control points that you have to do uh, to, to make a great beer regulation, distribution, all those sorts of things. So um, if you've got the appetite to, to go for the brass ring and build a, a great brand in the market, uh, definitely. We're an excellent partner to have on the manufacturing side to, to make great quality beer. So what would be the first step into getting working with you guys? What would be the first couple steps? I'm just curious. Yeah, I mean, what do the first couple dates look like? Yep. Um, <laughs> So, well, you know, we get to know each other's likes, dislikes, you know, and uh, I don't know whether you swipe left or right. Or <laughs> the, uh, you, you basically find out a little bit about the company and the recipes and their, uh, their mission or their goals that they'd like to achieve. Why, you know, why do we get in touch and go on the first date in the first place? Uh, they get to know a little bit about us and our process. We highly encourage them to, to come and visit. We get uh, we go down the rabbit hole. We get a little geeky, you know, in terms of the beer stuff, and we do analysis. We look at their recipes and our recipes as we would scale them up. Uh, we do analysis on their existing beer, and uh, and we we talk like a bunch of geeks that uh, you know complicate something as simple as a glass of beer. That's kind of what uh, <laughs> people in this industry do, you know. We complicate glasses of beer so that those who enjoy them uh, at the end of their day can uh, maybe simplify things. Right? Yeah. And, and what we found in, in a lot of the conversations that we've had throughout the country, but particularly in our Florida Open for Business campaign, is a lot of the guys down there started as home brewers, you know, and you grow your business. And, you know, the easiest thing in the world is to be an entrepreneur. No, not anywhere. <laughs> the entrepreneurship is not for the fate of heart. It is very, no, very, not. very difficult. Very difficult. And uh, guys that go into any business, but particularly that business. Um, and again, we've talked to distilleries, wineries, breweries all over the country, even stretching into Hawaii. And it's just, you know, the passionate thing. The passion leads down, as you call it, the rabbit hole. I mean, we use that terminology here. We follow a lot of rabbit holes <laughs> to see where they go. And uh, it's fun. Yeah, right? it mean, is. It is. If and for me, you know, we are now an overnight moderate success after eighteen years, and uh, <laughs> it, you know, it's just, it has been. Uh, you know, my legs stretch all the way back to Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom and my passion for doing something on a national level after being on that show. And um, yeah. It, cool. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, but back then, I didn't have, I didn't own the company or own the production, right? <laughs> but this is what you yep. do. And again, uh, entrepreneurship, I loved your answer right at the beginning, because the first date, that's what we also use that same term. Our friend Rob, that's his uh, term to see when we start working with people, is that yeah. that is exactly what it is. You know, how do people fit together? Um, and in doing that, yeah. how many, how many have you brought in? Or how many people do you are you working with now? So we, well, I'll, I'll use beer brands or companies mm -hmm. uh, rather than people, but the, uh, 
I guess corporations are people, right? So uh, I, that's that's another conversation. Yes, <laughs> exactly. The, uh, so we work with 18 different brewing partners. Okay. And uh, we really do emphasize the, the word partnership in, in our parlance and our, con, you know, our culture at BrewHub simply because whether we're a contract or an alternating proprietorship, it ultimately is a partnership. And so, um, you know, and previously in my career, I've worked with a brewery that, uh, to help that grow over years. And we worked with five different contract manufacturers over the years. And a lot of times it's, it's a bit like, um, I don't know, you, I don't want to say you're farming out something. I don't want to speak ill of anyone else in this industry. It's just that, um, you know, like I, I, my kids are at school today. Now, I don't expect the parents and the administrators to parent my children. There may be some sort of life lessons that they learn along the way. But if I were to give them to, say, one of our grandparents, I kind of would. I would expect a little bit more uh, than that. And so I know that I've just made up that analogy on the fly, but it's something more akin to that where we, we profess and we tell people that, you know, think of us as your second brewery. So we are set up culturally. We're set up from a communication standpoint, as well as from an administration standpoint to operate as someone's second brewery. And so uh, just if you just think of it as a second company, a second location for your company. Right, right now, you guys are in headquarters. You're calling me. I'm in your second location. You need to know things quick. You need to know the truth, even if it's ugly, as fast as possible. We need to make decisions. You need to know that I've got your best interests at heart. And so think of it more of like that, like an executive summary, but not just on an admin state, on a quality, on a brewing, on a packaging, on a shipping, receiving. So that's how we operate. But we do that with, you know, we're dedicated and committed, but to 18 people. So, I mean, I don't know, we're polyamorous, I suppose. But, uh, you know, that's, we're in these 18 committed relationships. And uh, I, I think that is definitely something that uh, distinguishes us and sets us apart. See, Kira, you could be in the business by five o'clock today. All you have to do is call Otto and bam, you got uh, Kira's friendly beer, you know. Yeah, it's, it's a little uh, more extensive of an onboarding process, yeah. but sure. Yeah, not a problem. She'll keep putting the quarters in the phone. But um, it's, really, it's really funny. About uh, three, four years ago, I was talking with some people in the world of distilling, and, and their image was, you know, all they have to do is put up a beautiful distillery, put it in some barrels. Four years later, they'll be flying around in private jets to um, capitals around the world. As they exit their door, the bands will be playing, the red carpet will be flowing, and everybody will want their uh, their bourbon. You know, I mean, that's just the way their imagination <laughs> was running. And basically, it was people with a lot of money, and if you want to end up with a small amount of money, they go down that path if you don't have somebody like you giving some guidance. Because why would you try to figure it out if you go to your if you go to your website, which is brewhub.com, just like it's spelled out. There are six different channels of thought process that you have there, route to market, warehousing, retail channels, distributor relationships, distribu distributor agreements, inventory control, and stock rotation. All of those things are, are really grunt work. I mean, that, that is just thought processes that either you invent it or you uh, try to get to the third, fourth, or fifth date with you if that's where you know, you're trying to grow your business. And that, that, there's a lot of thought that goes into those six areas of uh, commitment that you have on your website. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, with your comment about the distillers, I, I think any brochure is always meant to be glossy and beautiful and show you the great things, right? I right. Mean, not necessarily uh, false advertising. It's, it's getting people to step into the realm of possibility of, you know, what's available if you took this path. Right. What sort of future could you create for yourself, your your employees, your company, et cetera? So, I mean, you know, without saying, you know, there's a, hey, anything could happen, right? You know, right. You, if you are an entrepreneur and you go out and you try to make some happen, something happen, the world will show you examples of what you're up against, right? It's not as if it's a cakewalk. Nothing's a cakewalk. Not at all. Not, um, not, not at all. If it was a cakewalk. Making beer, making beer is difficult, right? There's all sorts of things that can go wrong. But um, I think, you know, we're, we're a coach, we're a mentor, we're, we're a, a company with deep bench strength so that 
when you come to us and you start to come up against some of those stumbling blocks or those hurdles, those speed bumps that any entrepreneur, any enterprise is going to come up against, uh, you've got someone who has been there, done that. We got the T-shirt to prove it kind of thing. And, uh, and it's not that we come across as arrogant or um, like, oh, aren't you cute at that age? We just say, yeah, this is, uh, I mean, or we'll say this is what you could typically do. Here are a couple of different choices. Rather than having, you know, people can do that on their own. It just takes a little longer. Yeah. And in this day and age when the, the market is moving so quickly, I think uh, if you've got a great hot brand and you've got a, an idea or the market you're going into is, uh, is, say, not as saturated or maybe it doesn't even have a brand like yours, or you just think, you know, I'm special because um, you, you really need to move quickly oh. or, you know, somebody else will. Yeah, one of the people that we found out within the last year that we work with that um, – is an insurance uh, agent concern uh, who's been in the business a long time, and he got into a specialty market of insuring uh, distillers and breweries and, and such like that. And I used to be in the business for 22 years, and again, way back when, not really and casually, but we had him. I just wanted to interview him, brought him on the show. He's a great guy. He specializes in, has a big company, backs him. And he started laying out the things that you can actually insure against, you know, I mean, things that you'd never in, imagine. In a brewery or a distillery? Yeah, brewery or distillery. You know, water right. goes bad or, you, you know. You, have you, a bad batch. Yeah, he just have a, even a bad batch. It was it was an interesting yeah. thing that it was there, and I never even thought about it. But just listening to him, you know, it's you have to have the full understanding of what you're getting into. Um, and that's what I think of. And, again, if I was going to get into the business, I always, I always research. Um, people that knew what they were doing like you're doing, because why sit and try to reinvent, you know, the wheel or whatever, I think if, um, what what a great concept you have. Now, are you uh, brewing your own, uh, Kira? This is your uh, your, your lineup oh, I, of, uh, <laughs> she, she's our beer drinker in the crowd. I, <laughs> so. Well, I am, that is true. Yeah. So how many beers do you guys have on tap? Well, uh down in Florida, we have 24. Up in St. Louis, we have 20. Wow. Uh, those are the number of beers that we have on tap at any given time, or those are the number of faucets that beer can pour out of. And uh, I, I couldn't honestly, I, I should probably commit this to memory, but it is it moves seasonally as well as when we bring on partners. But uh, we have well over 100 different beers that we make for people, including wow. those that we make for ourselves. So we are a craft brewer. Uh, we're not just a factory that uh, makes beer for other people. So we, we do enjoy coming up with and uh, making some recipes. But um, really, that's, that's a small you know, por portion of what we actually do. Um, this shirt that I'm wearing, Diver Down, is an imperial red ale. It's about 8% Ooh. ABV. So, you know, it's... Uh, batting down the hatches, so to speak. And, uh, <laughs> the, uh, but it definitely uh, is, uh, speaks to, you know, sort of lifestyle and culture. Florida is the third largest beer market in the U.S. Incredible, yeah. Uh, we also have one called Key Billy. It's a fascinating story. It actually isn't a recipe that we uh, made. We actually developed it with the home brewer and his uh, friend who, Worked at the Key Lime Pie Company down in uh, uh, Key West. Right. They won a homebrew competition with it, and we're just gung-ho. I mean, really, if you know Pat Kennedy, or his friends call him Paradise Pat, mm -hmm. uh, who lives down in Key West, <clears throat> he was just an unstoppable force. You know, any reasonable man would have been like, ah, oh, yeah, that's probably kind of a harebrained idea. Maybe uh, my homebrew is not meant to be on store shelves, but not Pat. Pat that was definitely unstoppable. And then, you know, when we met him and uh, got to know his character and personality and, and started thinking about the possibility of the beer, uh, especially in Florida, uh, it just, every, every kind of, you know, when you're there and everything kind of meshes and you mm -hmm. just say, this would be awesome. It, or, you know, it might be a really stupid idea, but if it, if it clicks, this would be really awesome. And I, you know, again, I'm biased, but I'd like to say it's really awesome. So Key Billy is another brand that we have. Uh, but we do that in uh, license with Pat, the, a home brewer. I mean, like, 
I don't know of any other instance in the industry where that's even remotely close. Maybe with Boston Beer, how they do a competition with the long shot competition with the American Homebrewers Association every year. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty unique. Yeah. Uh, we also have an IPA called Rome City. Its name, Rome City was almost the name of Lakeland, Florida, where we're headquartered. It's also the headquarters of Publix Supermarkets, the Indeed. largest, uh, you know, off-premise retailer in the Southeast. So that's, I miss that's Publix. No <laughs> you miss Publix? I well, do. Good, I'll tell them that. Yeah. Where, they need to have one up here in Wisconsin. At? Oh, okay. That is a stretch, but... Uh, yeah, they have yeah, that. we we live in one of the finest uh, destinations in uh, <laughs> in Wisconsin, actually in the world. Wisconsin became the number one in Florida. Was really crying some tears a couple years ago. Uh, Wisconsin became the number one golf destination in the world. Uh, oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, we have the Ryder Cup coming here in 2020. We had the U.S. Open last year. Um, we have. Uh, We've had a lot of majors that are lined up for the state, both women and men. Uh, in fact, we're involved, uh, I think, now in two of them uh, from our, our uh, golf side. We have a big position in golf. But then, you know, I, there's a rumor that we followed uh, that golfers golf, then they sip. And uh, <laughs> it, it was really weird. Uh, we're 1,500 golf courses in Florida. And we found out through uh, working with the state leaders down there with uh, Sean, who's a great great uh, spokesman yeah. he's coming on next week he's a great friend and uh, what an advocate you guys have uh in sean nordquist down in florida oh cool thank you yeah, yeah. he's a great guy yeah he, really appreciate yeah he and phil mcdaniel on the distillery side i mean for us it's just been pleasurable so we we're trying to convince people and help them understand florida is open for business and you can go down there and find a golf course a spa a place to put your head down a place to go sure. have a sip or two and uh so we've had so much fun doing this, and um, what a great story that you have. How many states do you distribute to at this point in time? Uh, wow. Well, I mean, it, it depends, right? Yeah. So each brand in and of itself is a <coughs> license holder in a market. So, But uh, to give you the quick answer, it's about 20. Oh, wow. And I, I don't know, uh, but that's not for every single brand. Right. right. And we do import and export. Yeah. So wow. we go beyond the, the borders of this fine nation. So people can stop by um, both locations, in my understanding that, take a tour and oh, see yeah. what you're doing? Yeah, food, yeah. drink, um, you know, wine, spirits. I mean, you don't have to necessarily, or we've got handcrafted sodas. And uh, But yeah, it's uh, family friendly. We've got a tasting room down in Florida. Yeah. And uh, it's just on the western side of Lakeland. We've also got a tasting room and small pub up in St. Louis. And that's right sort of at the heart of ev everything on the southern edge of Forest Park in, uh, in St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, we were just there. <laughs> we were there. You for, were. Yeah. We, were, it, yeah. we weren't just there. That well, was six in, months ago. In my world, yeah, there, there was a... <laughs> There right. was, what was the name of that event we went to? It was for it was, the industry. It was the Mid American Brewfest or something. Like craft, that. something. Yeah, it was for the industry alone. It it takes people from beginning, or they just brought in uh, for vendors. You know, people that are in the business, and sure. and they brought yeah. in bankers and people that could put stickers on whatever. But we really enjoyed the time. Kira and I came down there and did. Uh, some publicity for them. And it was a great time meeting the people that were yes. there in Missouri. Yeah. What a great place Missouri is. I mean, you know, if people don't understand how great the state of Missouri is, you should get in the car and go, you know? Um, yeah. Being a Chicago Cub fan, that's not how we were raised, but you know, we, were, <laughs> we, we found out that the Cardinals always gave us some issues along those lines, but uh, oh, right. <laughs> anyway, we really yeah, appreciate the time. Is there anything we missed Otto that you'd like to share with us today? Uh, boy, you'll regret asking that question. Not at all. Uh, You're great. <laughs> no, we delayed it for You're two days. You're trying to sign off and you ask something. Not at else. all. Like, no, like, we have a full half hour. We'll, <laughs> let's see. Uh, oh, we got 30 minutes if you wanted to fill it up. So it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I can talk. But, uh, no, I've, I think this is great. I really appreciate the, uh, you know, the attention and uh, the, the focus you guys had to bring us on today. Um, you know, if you ever want to and you're interested in uh, bringing on uh, someone that we're partnered with and you mm -hmm. take a look at our portfolio and our brands, I think, uh, you know, shameless plug there, but just also trying to put myself in your shoes and thinking of uh, what, what might help. Right. Um, I think the, 
the community. I mean, ultimately, beer is supposed to bring people together. Exactly. Right? And so um, that I will say this. One of the things that I just find absolutely, I don't know if there's, you know, if you can use awesome to describe like a Chicago hot dog, I'm looking for a word that's better than awesome, right? Yeah. You know, I'm something that's just magical and fulfilling and brings me, you know, repeated joy and passion of why I got in this industry in the first place is working with people who uh, are like-minded and right. have their own brand. But then you kind of get to help one another out. And I don't mean to make it all sound like Joan Baez, Kumbaya kind of stuff. <laughs> it's just that the, uh, you know, it's nice. It right. really is. I, I, I'm all for cup you know, competition out in the market, out on the playing field where it belongs. But, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, if your beer, if your business is about beer, you should be able to toast one another and share best practices and, you know, learn from one another. So I think that that's something where I just count my blessings that I get to work with a, a lot of cool companies, brands and brewers in this industry. But uh, enough about us. If you ever want a connection to anyone you see we're uh, working with, please let me know. Yeah, no, we'll absolutely do that because we want to stay in touch. This isn't like a one-off. In fact, yeah. people like yourself, you, you mentioned the one thing, and I'll mention it here, is that everybody that we've done these videos for, for lack of a better term, that's not really it. It's a split screen, very high tech internet's, you know, Facebook presentation. Other than, I'll call it a video. <laughs> yeah. I, I got to work on my lighting here. I keep yeah. noticing like, uh, oh, whatever. It's always an issue, um, <laughs> yeah. for us too. Um, but what we do is, is that if you have people in the area that you work with that, you know, we have golf courses, you know, and the intent was, is that, you know, the, the what we call the snowbird migration, begins sure. about 3 30 christmas day <laughs> the artificial tree goes back in the box the, the grandkids yeah. are given a kiss on the forehead and postcards fly about two weeks later telling where grandma and grandpa have gone to the state of florida <laughs> and um but that really is the truth so when the golfers or the vacationers come down everybody loves the you know the the craft beer wine uh the distilled products and they always look for that, and they look for it in groups, and we yep. know that. So if you have people that you're working with in different areas, in our magazine, we've been trying to extend full-page announcements of people that we've had on, and all we ask is, is that if you got people that are in your area, we're trying to give quarter-page you know, shout-outs to them and typically try to give it so that people can really understand. We're just trying to open up Florida and give um, – and and give and create dialogue to begin with. Kira and I aren't going anywhere. We actually are going to make live appearances. And that's sort of scary. But after the PGA show in January, we're going all over the state of Florida, and we'll be connecting down there and letting people know because um, uh, they, they 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 like her. I can stay in the car from <laughs> what I understand, but that's just sad. Old Randy, Uncle Randy. They call me Uncle Randy, so it's uh, yeah. it's terrible. Everybody loves Miss Kira. So we have a lot of fun. If you haven't told, everything everything we do is fun. We want to celebrate life, and that's what Links and Libations is all it's about, right? It's a special community. It is. We're like a little special yeah. community. Right. Hey, Otto, right. I, we really appreciate it. You're great. And uh, we'll be in touch. you got such a great uh, situation. I have a lot of questions just because I've, I think I've visited well over or with uh, owners of over 500 establishments in the past three or four years as we were creating. Wow. This. Yeah, so it's – uh, yeah, it's been a lot of – it's been very interesting. So – you know, um, she just tries to put me back in the box here in a minute. So. I am not. I try to keep you on the street and uh, narrow. <laughs> anyway, Otto, from Brew Hub down in St. Louis or in Lakeland, Florida, stop in, have a sip or two. Uh, Otto's great. Uh, he'll shake your hand. And, uh, you know, and after your first or second date, if you still like what he does, you could actually uh, work with him and grow on your business. So <laughs> really good information, Otto. We really appreciate it. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Yeah. Thanks. Well, <laughs> uh, we've heard rumors. So anyway. <laughs> All right. Good. Have a good so, one. Otto. Cheers. You too. Right. Thanks. Cheers. Right. Bye-bye.